Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm continuing to look at the October November IGCC ICT paper 2. In the last video, we ended with step number 23, and in this video, we look at step number 24. And uh, I must say, we're almost done with um, the data manipulation section. Okay, so step number four, 24 says using fields from the cruises table, produce an extract from the data which um, selects only those cruises which have a destination of Trans Panama canal okay with a sales date on or after 10th um, of december 2017 or and on or before um 24th december uh, 2017 it should show only the field uh, vessel name duration and sale date in this order and it should also sort the sale date in descending order okay so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to use a query um to extract this information from um, the database that we have and then we're going to have certain criteria, okay, that we are going to form, which is this two here, and then do the sorting um, at the end. So the first thing that we need to do is to set up our query, and we need to show the vessels, I mean, the fields that we need for our query. Okay, so what we need to do is to go to create and um, query wizard, a simple query, and from the cruise table, um, you're selecting the vessel name. Let me just confirm. You're selecting the vessel name, duration, and sale date. In that order vessel name duration and sale date in that order but notice also that there is another field which is not mentioned it won't be shown shown here but it is mentioned which is the destination so that we'll be able to extract the destination trans panama canal okay so um what you need to do is to add the destination to the list okay so just double click on there and that's added the next next and then modify the query and finish it so now you have the destination. So let's start with the destination. The destination is Trans um, Panama Canal. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it in there. So the destination is here. So just paste it there and um, run it. Notice that you have got Trans Panama Canal as the destination right there. Okay, so that should be fine. Go to Design View. And um, the next is we need to set the sale date. Okay, so the sale date is um, 10th um, of... Um, December 2017. Um, so that starts from the 10th inclusive to the 24th inclusive. Now, this is where, guys, it takes a little bit interesting. I must say that um, if you try to type, for example, there are two methods that you can use to do this. You can use greater or equal to um, the date that you have, the 10th of um, December and 2017, and um, and put and, and uh, less or equal to um, 24th of December um, 2017 okay this can work out but notice when I try to click away what access does it switches and takes this month uh, it takes this and makes it the month and takes this and makes it the day so it, the day actually becomes the 20th the 12th rather if you come here notice that the day is in the middle and the month is um, the month is um, at the beginning there. If you run this, you get a wrong result because one, you're going to have values which are below the 10th, like the 5th, the 6th year, um, and the 9th, all these values are wrong. And the reason that is, is the case is because by default, my debt is set to use where um, the, month is, um, the month is the first one, and then you have got the day, and then you've got the year. And this is why access is following the system setting here. So you need to be very careful here. Um, otherwise, you mess up everything. Um, you need to make sure that your, your system is agreeing with the format of the date that you've been told in question paper. So in the question paper, the day should be first, then followed by the month, and then followed by the year. So I need to change my system time to uh, accommodate that. So I'm going to um, right-click on my date and go to Adjust, Date and Time and um, probably scroll down and go to change date and time formats and under short date i need to make sure that you notice that it is it was on month day and year and this is why access was getting mixed up so now we need to change it to day month and year like that okay and um change that notice the moment i do that it changes now the day is first then the month and then the year if you come back to access access now needs to be told that this has changed this has shifted so we we'll probably need to retype this this entire formula 
So the other method that you can use, of course, you can use the greater sign, the less sign, and all. But the other method that you can use is to use the between function. You just specify between the 10th of December 2017 and um, the 24th of December um, 2017, not 2017. Okay, so that date. Notice also when I do that, Access picks the exact date format that you have uh, on my computer. So it takes the 10th December 2017 and it picks that. Okay. And it also takes the 24th um, of December um, 2017. That should be fine. Now, if you run the query, notice that now you have the dates as they are supposed to be. Only dates that are above the 10th, uh, equal or above the 10th, and before or um, um, just the 24th. Okay. So that's very important, guys. If you didn't get what I said here, this is very important. Now, you need to uh, stop this video, rewind it, and you need to get what I said. This is very important. Otherwise, your query is not going to run. Okay. So, um, the next thing that we're supposed to do is to um, sort the cell debt in descending order. Okay. So, what we need also to do to make sure is um, make sure that destination is not ticked because it's not among the fields that are to be shown. And then we need to sort the cell debt into descending order. Okay run it and you should see the sale date is the first there's no destination field okay that should be perfectly fine and the next thing that we're not supposed to do is to place in the evidence document screenshots showing the criteria that you use to select the debt um, the, the required records okay so go here and select these fields so just do this and select them like source okay so that should be fine okay so just in, uh, enlarge this um, so that it is visible and get um, this as a screenshot, okay? All right, all right, come in. Yeah, all right. Okay, so sorry, that was my student. All right, so what we need to do now is, um, why am I doing this one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to get the screenshot. Did I get the screenshot? Just try to paste it directly there. Okay, try to paste it there. Okay, that should be perfectly fine. All right, so um, that is a step number nine. So save this data in a format which can be imported into a document that you saved in step 18. And you're going to need this extract in task, um, um, in task four. Okay, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to stop this video here and I'll continue this video in the next section. Uh, where we're going to look at step number 25. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to comment, and I'll see you in the next video with the next step.